Hello and welcome to the 22nd of November edition of the Kubernetes Contributor Com Subproject Weekly Team Meeting. Uh, please be advised that this meeting is under the code of conduct of the Kubernetes project, and which basically means be excellent to your fellow attendees and speakers and uh, be nice to each other. Um, we have the habit that anyone can introduce themselves if they would like to in the beginning of the meeting. So um, I can start. Hi, I'm Mario. I am the tech lead of the SIG Contributor Comms sub project and uh, pronouns are he, him. I work for Kubernetes and I do also stuff in Contribex and SIG case info. Awesome. I am Chris Short. I'm the other co-lead uh, for the sub-project. Kazlin's not here today. She's dealing with some work stuff. Uh, happy to be joined by y'all. And my computer's probably gagging, trying to open 50 tabs at once. So I will just let the next person go. Um, hi, everyone. I could go next. Uh, my name is Erwin. Uh, my pronouns are he slash him, and uh, I'm the Contribex uh, social media shadow and the blogging shadow. So so sorry, I forgot because I I haven't been joining these meetings for a while now because of Kipper, but happy to be back. Oh, that's uh, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Count the beast. We get it. Yeah, it's so much fun, fun watching all the updates live on social media. <laughs> Yeah, that's some good photographs I sent out as well. I saw that Mario was in quite a few of them, right? They're pretty good. Um, my name's Sylvester oh, Carolan. I need to go check. Hey, yeah. Sorry. Um, no, Sylvester Carolan, a contributor to um, the group. Um, that's it, really. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. Short and sweet. Back to you, Mario, I think. I muted myself. Great. Um, yeah, so for the message of the week, I think we need to add that um, CFP first round of CFP for Maintainers Summit London 2024, Maintainers Summit EU. London 24 is closing at 8th of December. If you want to apply for what's the thing when you get spot when you got to apply to get sponsor uh, travel sponsoring, it's you're muted. Chris, if you're talking. Is it called a scholarship still, or is it? Yeah, yeah, scholarship. Okay, all right. I thought we might have changed the name, but nope, that makes no, sense. It's scholarship. So. All right. Um, yeah, this is basically the only thing that I have for LWKD. Uh, I'm and, trying to think. Uh, yeah, KubeCon India is in two weeks. Yes. India starts, I think, also at 8th of December. Maintainer Summit, Maintainer Summit rec is still open. I think the Maintainer Summit. India is on 10th and the event is 11th, 12th. Oh. So. Yeah, this, this might be uh, KubeCon India. KubeCon India. KubeCon India is 11th to 12th. You're right. And maintainer, maintainer 
Summit India is at the 10th. Yes. I think that's it. So from yeah, Mrs. Think so. week. I think so. Yeah, it's probably more than enough. Um, new items. We are looking for a comms lead for Kubernetes Kubernetes track for maintainer summit EU twenty twenty five. So if you have been a comms shadow of the contributor summit in the past, uh, please reach out to me. Um, so that you can get a, the comms lead for the maintainer summit. I, official... Yes. I don't want to volunteer, but at the same time, I feel like I need to make room for others, right? I mean, I, I will post this call for help once uh, the other part of the call for help is uh, acknowledged by the Contrib X leads, uh, which mm -hmm. basically includes we need a we need program chairs uh, for the Kubernetes track, and we also need probably someone that oversees the Kubernetes part of the summit in or of the maintainer summit. But Ooh. I mean. What does it take to be at, oh, I'll ask you via Slack, but just point oh, me at anything for like. Chairs. We have nothing. We have, we nothing. have nothing. Okay. We have cool. nothing. Perfect. Because, because so that's what I wanted to know. <laughs> there, there's, there's no, so the, uh, what we, what we basically decided is if you have been in the past a shadow for, for, um, content or a lead for content, you're good to go to be a chair for the for the program, right? Hmm. Okay, makes sense. And I mean, and we are basically uh, extended it that if you are already known to the project and involved with the project, you can also basically say like, uh, I want to to be in the uh, uh, a, a chair. Um, but there's nothing nothing written down. Steering basically said that uh, they leave it up to Contrib X. I chatted with some of the steering folks, and they said, do it like Contributor Summit, more or less. Right. Uh, yeah. And there the rule is uh, you lead it, or you can lead it when you have been a shadow, or uh, and anyone can be a shadow. But I would basically limit it that because it's like one committee, it's like, you need to be at least have been shadow in the past or be so involved in the project that we can trust you to figure out which sessions would be good for the Kubernetes track. Yeah, I could take that. Yeah. And for the general lead role, the problem is, oh, the good thing is you don't need to do as much as for the contributor summit in the past. Because, oh. yeah, there's no... There's no um, no day of ops because this is all done by by CNCF. There um, we hmm. uh, for comms we only need to, to send out inner uh, internal communication like, hey, don't forget to re uh, send in your CFP. Uh, don't forget to register. Don't forget to whatever. Right? It's like the right. yeah. and um, we don't have a social to organize, so this role goes away um we still have the meet and greet so we still need someone for meet and greet um content is way less because we don't have to fill sket this will also be done by the cncf team we don't need to assign rooms this will also be done by the cncf team it Dang. will be like okay so i think lead is probably going to be way less work than it has been in the past so what's the responsibility? Just 
yeah. in scene on stage, basically. The funny thing is, you don't need to even be on stage anymore because we st we have Jesus. the chairs. We have the chairs for the uh, for the maintainer summit, and they are basically running the show. The other thing is uh, Kubernetes is is a track, right? It's one track in of the summit. I mean, for an A, we need people to present the awards, but that's an A. That's not London, so we don't care about yeah. awards in in in. Uh, yeah, I, like I want to take next year at least take a significant role in something kubecon related and this sounds like the thing maybe yeah i mean what is also what would be also an option and uh, but this is currently there's no official process to be a chair of the maintainer summit um because right. this this currently was appointed by cncf so basically cncf reached out to a couple of folks and asked them if they want to be chairs got it Makes sense. But I think eventually the, it will be voted. But since it's one of the first maintainer summits, they just want to get a grab of how, how does it run. Oh, sure. Of course. That makes sense. Um, yeah, that's it for maintainer summit. Um, the other topic that I have is social media posts for KubeCon India. Hmm. Yeah, we probably should do something there. I prepared the Excel file. It's not yet fully prepared because I haven't updated dates and so far, but I already right. copied some stuff. Um... Let me find the document. Cube composts for. So, um, great. I copied the name of the document and then Googled for it instead of copying the link to the document. <laughs> so, I might we... have done the same thing this morning with something else, but yes, I feel your pain. Happy Friday. All right, so we have uh, social media posts for uh, KubeCon. Next year, we have to do five KubeCons. So, uh, I wish, well, it's always going to be a community thing. Never mind. No. <laughs> So we have we have this document, right? Um, where we in the past had this for NA. We scheduled everything. Uh, we published everything. Uh, the downside is that we currently are uh, have uh, Blue Sky not yet fully integrated. I think uh, Chris, either you or Kesslin, raised the budget request for buffer until we can move towards. Uh, Fedica, but the problem with Fedica is this first needs to go through CNCF lawyers if their terms and conditions yeah. are working and stuff like this. I think, I mean, given the pricing that you talked about at some point this week or last week, maybe um, in Slack, which was basically like a, having teams is an extra cost. So yeah. the synopsis there basically was we need a quote and either I can get a quote from them or Kaslin can or whatever but we need to so I'll yeah. take that down as an action item uh, let's write it down also in the notes uh... How much to pay? Yeah. Because let's face it, right? Like, buffer's good enough. And if it's going to be more expensive to go to Fedica, I'm not sure what we gain. I mean, 
to we 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 would still need to we still need to add the blue sky accounts to buffer right like that exactly which is which is also again two more accounts right uh -huh. so two more two more licenses to pay which yeah. also basically would increase our um our spend by i think two hundred dollars so then it's basically we will probably be on the same level yeah we could be on the same footing you're right and um the good thing with fedica is that we potentially would have also um the integration for youtube oh yeah that's right that could be helpful uh, yeah but getting okay. back to social media posts for India. So um, I will probably at some point next week clean up the middle uh, column to uh, what we need to post, update the dates, uh, and then uh, please people fill in the posts for social media that we can publish on our social media accounts. All right. Now I have a fully black screen because my monitor says it's weak and, and stopped working. <laughs> um, I just make my lights go down. Um, so basically, I don't have any additional... Um, new oh, items. Since we're on since we're on the topic of social media, uh, I got tagged into a CNCF issue this week about X slash Twitter. Long and short of it is some people have a problem with X nowadays, which is understandable, but it's our largest user base as far as any social network goes. So it's like, CNCF would have to change their social media policy, which Chris Anacek did open a new issue to do. So more to follow on that. I'm assuming sometime next year we'll need to at least adapt our language to coincide with this new policy that they'll be creating, but uh, just keep it on our radar kind of thing. Yeah, and to be honest, this discussion ended not nicely. Bob basically forced closed the whole discussion eventually. Uh, I didn't want to bring that up, but yes, yes, it did. And it, like, Chris Anacek came in and closed the issue, right? And basically yeah. said, like, hey, we're going to look at social media policy going forward. Appreciate the spirited debate, but issue closed, and some folks jumped on it like they just saw it for the first time, even though it was a couple of days old and just started going to freaking town. And then, yeah, somebody came along and just turned it off, basically. Yeah. So, yeah, like that was flooding my inbox Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I feel like. Yeah. But basically, um, I, uh, the, the standpoint of the CNCF is the same standpoint that we originally had when this discussion mm -hmm. came up a couple of months ago. It's like, it's still the biggest thing. Yeah, it's and the biggest thing we, we got, folks. And <laughs> we can't move away from it just because. Right. So. We need some legitimate reasoning here. Uh, yeah. So not, basically, yeah. We are good. Not to say that... Uh, we don't have reason enough yet, but we definitely uh, need to consider other people's feelings on the matter, I feel like, sadly. Yeah, but I I would follow, I would basically follow CNCF. Um... Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm not saying we need to make any decisions. Uh... Like, I'm saying that CNCS is going to change things and we need to change things as a result. So, yeah. Uh, speaking of social media, um, on the ContribX panel at QCon, 
uh, Kesslin presented some numbers and uh, good job. Uh, we grew the X account by 8,000 people. Um, the Kubernetes IO contributor X account by 3,000 people. The Blue Sky account by yeah. three and a half thousand, no, two and a half thousand people in one and a half weeks. Oh, that's quite the pickup. And uh, LinkedIn, we grow with over eight thousand followers. Uh, let me let me pull up the the, the presentation. Give me a second. Um, yeah, that'd be great to kind of just go over it as a. Uh, Good job, kind of thing. Recent start, recent. Uh, opening session, Kubernetes Contrib X maintainer track. And let me. Uh, oh, this is EU. Sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, second main tenor track NA. And I want to share this tab. And it's. Yeah. So, I have it open somewhere. So and so we basically we grew uh, on LinkedIn by seven thousand six hundred fifty followers. Um, we grew on X by uh, six thousand followers for the main account. Uh, on Blue Sky we had two thousand five hundred new followers since November the fourth, which is crazy. Ooh. Yeah, and we grew. Um, even a contrib X contributors grew because um, this is it didn't go down. Uh, it it did go down with new con uh, new followers um, by the previous year, but in general, uh, uh, we still grew by uh, by a lot uh, from from last year. I can basically show this in buffer. <sighs> yeah, I was oh. gonna pull up buffer and look at that instead of slides. Yeah, buffer is basically telling me that I need to verify my account. So I need to verify your account. email. Yeah, click on an email. Because I was logged in in the US last week and it says like, uh, Ooh, that'll do it. You are not in the US anymore. Are you really you? Because nobody travels anymore. I get it though. All right. Buffer log in. Now it needs to tell me that I'm a human. Do you want me to share my screen? All right, so analyze. So basically, when we go on contributors and we take the range from January the first to November, you're in twenty twenty five, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, just change it to change. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, it's probably just big. 2024. This. Oh, that's just today. Oh, well, let's look at this. Yeah, so basically, we started at January 1st with 11,000 followers, and then we went up to 13,000, and now we are at 13,499 followers. Is it holding there? Uh, this is like January it. 2025. Uh, uh, oh. 
Yeah. Because, okay. Be, because you might want to change that because that's confusing. Yeah. <laughs> you can just type in the dates up top in between. Actually, you can't. You, you can't. You can't. You can't. God. Okay. That's terrible. You use the design as it's as it's best. So we can do this. And then we can go July, August, September, October, November, do this. No, you can't type. It's impossible to type. Yeah, I just noticed that. That's terrible. So, okay. So we started so with 11,000 people, and we are now currently at uh, 13,499 followers. That's really amazing. But I think it's interesting the engagement's going down. To the previous year. So compared right. to the previous year. Oh, interesting. Huh. And yeah, I'm going to have to take a better look at this, I think, because what I want to do is collect stats to actually see if like X Twitter usage is slowing in the community. We know it's slowing overall, but not necessarily. Yeah. I mean, when we, when we have a look at Kubernetes IO, we see, we see this dip, which is crazy. In the uh in the last weeks. Oh yeah 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 no that's huge. So this is basically when uh when um yeah election day. Who's got yeah weekend. election day played mm -hmm. and then basically election went, and then uh we we crashed down by roughly a thousand followers, but I think that those were just Twitter accounts that deleted themselves. Yeah probably um. I do think it's interesting to see the year over year stats gain since we took over this account, right? Like yeah. we took it over in what, May, June ish? And yeah. with fifty eight tweets, <laughs> we have yeah. grown the impressions ninety nine point two eight million percent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's missing the previous year statistics, right? Right. Like, but we, we, yeah, I get it. But like, I don't think anything was posted in the last six months of 2024. So that, no. that would throw this off anyway, right? Like, yeah. it's not and, one to one, sadly. <laughs> and in LinkedIn, we basically, uh, we see that it's continuously growing. Um, yep. Which I would expect. We got like six thousand followers. I think LinkedIn has the biggest growth with this, close to this. Sadly, yeah, they that's... don't have accounts for uh, Mastodon. But Mastodon, to be honest, I had I had a look at Mastodon, and there's no interaction with the post. It's basically dead. Yeah, no, Mastodon is losing favor in lieu of Blue Sky, is what I've yeah. observed from other yeah. networks so yeah and the problem that we have is that um there are no or there are not yet any good statistic tools for blue sky oh nope. i found something that works kind of oh okay uh, which is uh graph tracks um, but the problem is it takes forever Ooh. and you can only do go one month back oh that's horse hockey so basically we would need to create like monthly snapshots of the um, of the statistics there yeah. no thanks no I don't want to Yeah. So basically, this is uh, this no. Uh, so oh, we are already we are now at three thousand seven hundred. So we are in less than a month. In half a month, we basically grew three and three and a half thousand followers. So hmm. this is basically, I think, when you created the account. Yeah. And then uh, we have a constant new follower stream of roughly like a hundred people per day. Currently. That's actually in line with my new follower count per day on Blue Sky, which I think is very interesting. Oh. Hmm. 
And did the other statistics are loading? Ah. So we have a lot, we have a couple of reports. I mean, you, you see this week we had a, 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 a few more because this was when KubeCon started. So mm -hmm. this is the, the KubeCon posts more or less. And yeah, interaction with tweets is, uh, or was it a posts? Post, I think it's posts is mm. uh, rudimentary. Uh, for the contributor account, it's of course less. And we have also less followers, which is fine. Yes. That's totally fine. All right. But yeah, so we have statistics. And I think we should continue looking at statistics because there we can also see like which social media channels make sense and mm -hmm. which not. Um, oh, sorry, uh, on that note. Um... Yes. Um, I mean, and not divert the conversation around the X and Blue Sky stuff, but just wondering if um, does Buffer or any of the other tools also support threads? Um, Fiddick has uh, support threads. Fedica does, okay. but my, I don't know, like, this is up for debate. My activity on threads is automated, essentially, and I rarely engage there yeah. because no one engages with me. I'm curious if you've noticed something different, Federico. Uh, yeah, perhaps, but uh, that, that doesn't invalidate your experience because what I think that is, is happening is that specifically for me, I end up creating and using each different social network for a slightly different purpose. Uh, ah, I'll, give an, I'll, gi I'll give an example. I Treads. The overwhelming majority of the stuff that I write in is in Portuguese, so I tend to interact more with people from Portugal and Brazil. Uh, whereas in X, for example, I write over overwhelmingly in English, uh, which sort of puts me into, into a different um, context, right? Uh, in Blue Sky, I've written in both, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm still not getting a lot of, um, of traction, but I mean, I don't have any very interesting to say anyway so it's not uh, okay. it's not the fault of the social network i only mentioned threads because just looking at the numbers it's at least equivalent to blue sky in terms of uh, uh, adoption uh, i know that blue sky has grown exponentially um, in the last couple of months um but there is i mean maybe it's a different market than the ones that that are interested in Kubernetes, that, because that could be, but I know that for, because Threads is linked with Instagram one way or the other, um, there are a lot of people that um, don't necessarily use um, Blue Sky and use Threads. So I was just wondering if it's if it was already there, if it was like for free, uh, it wouldn't hurt to have uh, a presence, even if mm -hmm. just to squat the account, uh, right? Uh, to avoid- oh, yeah. uh, someone That's else going there because it's i don't think that threads is like a a niche thing it's it's one of the major alternatives oh, yeah. to it's, to to it's x big. so yeah uh i'm not saying that it will work better or worse uh, but uh, i think that at least it's worth some uh, consideration in terms of making sure that our presence isn't uh overtaken by someone else and then we have to have that process of uh, requesting and uh, etc. The the problem is that um, I mean I'm in favor of uh, requesting uh, requesting the or saving the threads account. Um, I would not integrate it into Buffer because in Buffer any channel costs money. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. If we go with Fedica, Different that's story. not an issue because uh, Fedica is basically like. Um, you pay, you pay for the amount of channels that you want to have. Um, so you get it's like I I pay one license and get one channel for each social media stream, and okay. I get a second license or uh, uh, I pay a little bit more and then I get a second channel for all of the social media platforms. So the the pricing model of Fedica is different. That's that's the difference. Very different. Yeah. Then, yeah. then we can no. then we can basically yeah, sure. Pull out to threads as well. That makes absolute sense. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I, I don't have any urgency in this. It's just a uh, an, an additional thing to consider, um, yeah. and I think that that's a very valid approach. I, I agree. 
I agree. And the we, the honest, squatting I, um, names we, is something we've done for a long time. Like, I would be shocked if Bob or Jeefy or somebody hasn't already created accounts for threads. I'm not sure what that process looks like, but I will go and ask and check and such. Threads. Uh, the funny thing is, um, I have no interaction whatsoever with any post that I put in on threads, and I automatically post everything that I post on uh, on yep. the other um, social media uh, social media networks. I post on threads, so I have zero interaction. <laughs> very, very same, right? Like yeah. I use Fedica, I post to threads and Blue Sky mm -hmm. and everywhere else. I get more uh, yeah. engagement on Mastodon than I do on threads, I, which I, I think, think is weird. I think that the profile of people that, um, I mean, I'm just making this up. I don't have data to be behind it. But from my uh, experience, the profile of people that are on threads uh, is perhaps less of the kind that's very interested in Kubernetes uh, and more of the kind that's interesting in all other things that life has to offer. Yes, uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I mean that makes uh, makes sense that this exists. A lot of people from Blue, Blue Sky are people that are more so than threads. I think they are um, ex refugees, uh, which uh, picks up on the technical uh, substratum yeah. of X more than threads because threads has a lot of, of people from Instagram, which. Uh, obviously, people have many different interests, but uh, you get what I am saying. I think that Threads is a more generic public, and uh, perhaps Blue Sky, and even it can be also because of this. Uh, a lot of people in the Kubernetes project went to Blue Sky and not to Threads, so it's a roller coaster, mm -hmm. right? Because they they add yeah. new people. Uh, you you see that uh, Dins uh, made like that. Uh, sort of lists that you can follow. So yeah, uh, I guess that's also a very important point. Uh, you start small, but if you have more um, engagement, then everyone flocks to the one where more Kubernetes people are, which is, is, is Blue Sky. Yes, sorry. I was, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm in favor of figuring out who, uh, if we have this account saved uh, once, uh, if we move to Fedica, when we move to Fedica, I would just basically roll out every post there as well because it doesn't hurt. It's not more effort. It's just like right. one click to enable things. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's, that's, that's a good way forward. Um, the only annoying thing is basically if you tag accounts, but as we usually don't tag accounts because this was violating yeah. our own uh, rule that we established, mm -hmm. this should also not be a problem. Private, I must say it's hard. It's super annoying. Uh, Fedica, but Fedica, for example, has an autocomplete, which I like. So Fedica mm -hmm. has, based on the social media network, an autocomplete uh, who you would tag. All right. Um, we, to the notes, we grew a lot in social media, reserve, mm -hmm. threats, user accounts for KDS and KDS.dev. Uh, onboard, onboard them as soon as we have Felica in place. Hmm. Any other updates, big wins? Not this week. 
Otherwise, we would probably go into Frederico Blocks. You're muted. Yes, I am. You're right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yes, very quickly. The, um, not, not a lot of movement as well. Uh, but um, I've shared the etcd um, uh, last week. I, I mentioned the other week. I mentioned that somehow the ECMD etcd draft disappeared. I recreated it and uh, just confirmed that they have access. So etcd spotlight is being reviewed. Uh, I opted not to open the PR because there are still a couple of, it, it's a interview with four different uh, people on the other side. So I, I want to make sure it's, um, it's, 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 it's pre-reviewed before opening the PR. That's one. Um, the, 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 the enhancement SIG architecture um, is, I mean, it's almost chronically on the same state, I've, um, which means it's waiting for a review. Uh, I've updated the publication date for next week uh, again. I've, I've, I mean, there's a shortage of people reviewing, and I, I'm not. I don't want to 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 be be a jerk about it. So I'm not insisting more. But I've I've, I've mentioned this in Sig Doc blocks. I've uh, the team has already gone there and and asked, but it's. Um, it's it's still up for review. So and I guess that now with the uh, with the 132 release um, re reaching the release date, there they are obviously focusing on feature blogs and other stuff. But anyway, uh, I changed the release date for next Thursday. Let's uh, hopefully uh, we will be able to secure a an, an, an approval until then. Um, I also got an initial response from the security response um, team, which is a, a new spotlight um, right. idea. Uh, and cool. um, yeah, they're, they're looking into it. They are likely interested. The, they are a large group of people. And um, I, I just, I just, Pinged three of them to understand, should I send an email to the list or something? They, they are, looking into that and uh, they will provide me additional feedback um, next week. So uh, that's a, I think that will be one of the next interviews that will uh, be done. Um, and I mean, that's in terms of new stuff, it's pretty much this. Okay, any questions, remarks to this? Otherwise, we have 14 more minutes to look into the board. Contrib Expo. Don't we have a direct link in docs for Contrib AR board? All right. Then we can close social media North America because this is done. Yep. Uh, we basically went over the blocks, so that I will basically skip them. Create a other comms lead comms guide to give leads such as release and KCS. At the same time, we need to give them a guide how to access tools. I think no one got assigned to this and no one worked on this yet. What? Sorry? Create a better process for other comms leads like KCS and oh, uh, re yeah. Release. Yeah. Kaslin's working on it. I think still. And as we know, Kaslin's a very busy person now. Yeah. All right. Um, buffer access audit. I think we did that. I... You can move that to did? done. Ah, yeah, Kazan and I did it a couple weeks ago. So move that to done finally. Nice. Very just access audit. Access audits. Now that was one Kazan opened the same day she opened the other Kazan thing because, yeah, like all the owners' files are things we need to audit regularly yeah Come to issue. but she didn't 
like I think both of us don't fully know the scope of all the different ownership things that we manage right now, which is kind of not good too. Yeah. Yeah, let's discuss it when she's back. Yeah. That makes yeah, more sense. That's a good call. Uh, AI rules are basically blocked by the people. So I will move it to blocked because I haven't get any feedback on this yet. Um, and I don't know if, if it's still feasible because there were also tools like how do we use AI tools for like code review and stuff like this at the contributor summit. So maybe the general view has changed a little bit so yeah let's see a sensitive communication process i posted a document that is waiting for reviews yeah i kind of want to like assign it to someone in steering at this point <laughs> right like steering look at this are you good with it kind of deal i mean i mean what we could potentially do is we could create a pr and and, and assign the pr to steering yeah that would work um create a pr and assign it to steering um pop in the steering meeting and it's still assigned with me so i will do this next week all right Thank you. that's the same promote new contributor workshop content on hold until we get code space integration goal is to be able okay uh, Chris, to check if this uh, doesn't. This is from September? From March 2023. Uh, yeah. This the... is from last year. <laughs> so this is just not happening, I feel like, at this point, right? Like, yeah. we, we've moved on to new contributor orientation. I think this is very safe to say, like, this is done. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like it's done as in the sense that like we're not going to go down this path still yeah. i wouldn't say delete it i wouldn't say archive it i, I don't know I can't, it's it's a draft so i would need to convert it to a new issue and then uh, close it immediately so yeah don't I, bother I, I would just I, delete it yeah yeah okay cool uh spotlight sick kids infra sick kids. Sorry? Sorry, I need I need to drop. So have a great weekend. Thank, Thank you, Federico. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, this is basically blocked because uh, Secrets Info said no, no capacity at the moment. This might change as they are currently appointing a new tech lead. They already have, or well, it's going yeah. through the paces. But yeah, they've they've put Marco up for tech yeah. lead. Yeah. Um. So maybe there's then some capacity next year. Which would be um, great. Then all of the other stuff is just spotlights. Spotlights. And the last thing is we have comms team, social media leads, and shadow structure. But this is with Kathleen. Is, is this? Isn't this done? No, she has not opened the PR, but she wrote it already. Yeah, I feel like there's been action on this. And because yeah. since it's been here since July, it just hasn't been updated. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. But then we are good. Except for to do a Slack bot documentation. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Like there's a lot of those tasks that I have sitting on hold right now. I probably should just go ahead and start working on that stuff. What was the last thing you said? Slackbot doc. 
Slack bot doctor. I can assign it to you. Then you then you yeah, see go it ahead. In, your, in your GitHub popping up. Yeah, I don't look at my GitHub like that. So yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> um yes, go ahead and assign it to me. And it's in community. I think that might be more like especially for Slack bot, it might be more of a diagram than actual words. Actually, many of these are probably like that. Uh, con is contra contra x is the the la uh, label is so or is it is there? I I always have to check, man. <laughs> For our labels is something that I have saved. Ah, it, it doesn't. Okay, then it's god damn. Oh. The certificate expired for proud.kubernetes.io? Oh, that's Wait, good. what? Oh, no, it's just gone. Wait, what happened? How do you get to prow? What happened to fucking prow? Prow.kates.io. Got it. Hang on. Uh, yep, that'll do it. Okay, thanks. Uh, give me a second. Uh, perfect. It's uh it's Wait. sick con uh okay it's we need I to have it. this and we need to have this and we need to have this and then we can mm -hmm. do this and then we can do this and say do this. Woohoo and then I can assign assign it. Work. Thank you. All right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> it, it only took me five comments to do this. <laughs> you know what? It is what it is, man. We can't memorize all the labels and areas and SIGs and everything else, right? Like, it's uh, hard. <laughs> All right, I think then we are through. Sounds about right. Five minutes left. Any last words? Anything that needs to be taken care of? Urban, Danish, feel free to chime in if you have any questions or concerns. Hi. Um, nothing from mine. I was just watching them. Cool. Thank you. I have a question like um is spotlight only for sig related stuff or any kubernetes stuff mm, it's related to six and working groups currently so um but okay. you don't need to have a specific kubernetes knowledge about this right mm -hmm. so what are you thinking i guess what would you um, have written a sig spotlight on um nothing yet. uh i was like exploring csi and other stuff related to storage, but I'm not sure if it is a good one. Um, did we have a spotlight article about six storage? Mm, yeah, we, we do know. have six storage two okay. years ago. I, well, two years old, what's changed, you know? Yeah. But this is basically something where you can ping Frederico um, and just ask him because he's basically the blocking lead. So yeah, just ping Federico in Slack and uh, he'll respond. I think that might yeah. be a decent way to explain this. All right. Any other topic left? Not if to my not, knowledge. I wish you all a wonderful weekend. We have snow. You too, buddy. We had snow yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, enjoy the weekend. 
get some rest and we will see each other next week. Bye bye. Bye y'all. Bye everyone. Thank you. Bye.